Hello, my name is Ava Howard. I am an upcoming senior at Brentwood High School in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm here with Dr. Corey Carbonera, a professor of digital communication technology at Baylor University. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your job? Sure. Uh, I'm a professor in film and digital media here at Baylor, but I also am director of a digital communication technology project, and, and that gets me involved in some research that allows me to look at more or less the cutting edge of what's happening in, in technology development and what its impact might be on society. Um, who or what influenced you into your career choice? Well, I was actually influenced by my uncle, believe it or not. Uh, he uh, was an actor who was wow. in Hollywood. Uh, he was involved in a lot of uh, different types of, of comedies and, and different types of westerns during the 60s, and he was a character actor, so you wouldn't have known really his name very much, but his face was appearing a lot. Uh, so on Nickelodeon, a lot of times we'll watch him and see. But he was the one that said, basically, if you're interested in film, which I was, that you need to go to the University of Iowa, and that was the best place back in the, you know, the time I was looking, which was the 70s. And so I wound up going to the University of Iowa, uh, majoring in film. What types of films did he do? I mean, uh, what films did he do? Well, he was involved in Wild Wild West, mm -hmm. which was, he was an actor in that with Robert Conrad. It was a, a CBS uh, uh, series that lasted for many years. Mm -hmm. uh, he was on Bewitched, which was another show back in the 60s. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, another one was My Three Sons. Uh, yeah, those are just a few. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say are your greatest accomplishments? Uh, being a father is probably my greatest accomplishment. <laughs> Uh, I really, really appreciated that. Um, as far as uh, professionally, uh, I think uh, having the opportunity to really be a teacher and, and really find that that was my calling and know that I enjoy it is probably my, my best achievement. Um, other than that, I think one of the interesting things was I was fortunate enough to actually become the first product manager in charge of high-definition television for Sony. And that allowed me to get involved with... Uh, a lot of the Hollywood studios and to be involved a lot with uh, the uh, television networks in terms of their ability to understand what this new technology called high def could really do for them. So that was, that was a lot of fun. Um, how do you think this field has changed in the last five years? Well, everything is digital. I mean, the field has changed uh, in, in, uh, in the last five years. Uh, it's now not just about uh, a screen that you would watch a movie on it in your home or in the theater. I mean, it's about being able to take your media and bring it anywhere, anytime, any place, to anything. And, you know, that really has changed things quite a lot. You know, people are now looking at multiple um, screens in terms of experiencing even a film where they might be looking at an IMDb, you know, uh, a piece of information on their, on their phone while they're watching the movie itself. And, you know, it's just a lot more interactive. Yeah, definitely. Uh, where uh, where do you think this where do you think it is headed in the next five years? Well, in the next five years, these uh, screens, these second screens, uh, and even third screens, will become more prevalent. I think two two trends will really be the most important way of answering that question. One is multiple screens, and that's why here at Baylor we're doing research in that area of multiple screens, uh, in particular looking at um, how they would be used, let's say, in gameplay for a video game experience or how they would uh, supplement a, uh, a broadcast in, in environment, um, even in terms of being able to be inside of a Baylor game at uh, the Ferrell Center for Basketball mm -hmm. and being able to receive uh, all the cameras that are actually shoot, shooting around the, the, you know, the stadium um, and getting those actually on your handset or on your, your iPod or, or iPad, for example. And so it's, it's really all of those things kind of combined. The other one is transmedia, where really the authorship of a particular uh, franchise um, actually has more fan base. So more and more people are getting involved in wanting to, to, to write um, original uh, pieces that would supplement, let's say, a series like Iron Man. And so they would do a piece about Iron Man's childhood, you know, where there might be a gap in the narrative. Um, and so people really, you know, who can't get enough of their favorite characters really, uh, I think, will be able to find that they're going to have more and more opportunity to actually be a part of the new uh, string of stories that might come along of a franchise like Iron Man. Mm -hmm. um, lastly, do you believe this is a good career choice? Oh, I think it's a great career choice. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, for me, being a professor, 
Uh, I think it's, it's the most incredible time uh, to be a professor in this area that I could ever have imagined. Uh, you know, who knows what the next few you know, years would bring, but right now uh, it's about as exciting as it gets because we have all these changes that are going on from the traditional motion picture industry to the television industry, you know, even in terms of news and looking at, you know, how, how news has, has grown from being just a group of journalists who, are, who definitely would be the ones to do the news to where citizen journalism and other types of, of, of forms of journalism are now, you know, changing that in terms of its impact with, with all this digital uh, technology that's available. So we're rethinking and even looking at new theory to try to make sense out of all of these things. Well, thank you for talking with me. You're welcome. It was great. Appreciate it. Good job.